Dodge City and in the territory on West, there's just one way to handle the killers and the spoilers, and that's with a U.S. Marshal and the smell of gun smoke. Gunsmoke, starring William Conrad, the story of the violence that moved west with young America, and the story of a man who moved with it. I'm that man, Matt Dillon, United States Marshal, the first man they look for and the last they want to meet. It's a chancy job, and it makes a man watchful and a little lonely. <laughs> That's healed pretty well, Matt. At least there doesn't seem to be any infection. Good. How long ago did this happen? Oh, a few months ago, Doc. I don't remember exactly. <laughs> you, you get a bullet in your leg and you don't remember when it happened. Well, I was way out in the country, Doc. Clear up by Indian Wells. Well, I don't know what that's got to do with your remembering. Honestly, Matt, sometimes you make about as much sense as Chester. Well, I got enough sense to know that you poked around long enough. Well, that bullet's got to come out, Matt. But you said it was healing. I did, but it's still got to come out. The bullet could move around in there and cause trouble. Uh, maybe next week sometime, huh? I'm busy right now. Oh, come to think of it, you're worse than Chester. Next week, huh? All right. By then, you'll probably have some more lead that I can dig out anyway. <laughs> That's what I like, a nice, cheerful position. <laughs> you, Doc Adam? <clears throat> well, yes, ma'am? I seen your shackle down below. Who are you? Uh, Marshal Dillon. <laughs> Hello, man. What can I do for you? I want you to have a look at my arm. Oh, I sure, yes. Uh, sit right down. Here. My name's Minnie Higgins. You can call me Minnie. Oh, all right, Minnie. Yeah, uh, just what's wrong with your arm? I fell off the horse. Got scratched up some. Oh, let's look at this. Thing. Ain't nothing bad, but there's some oh. proud flesh developing there. Uh -huh. I already put some turpentine on it. Well, well, that helps, yes, yeah, it still needs cleaning out, even if the bullet did pass clean through. Bullet? Doggone you, dog. What's this about a bullet? I just told the dog what happened. There weren't no bullet about it. I fell off my horse. I hit a stick, and it run clean through my arm, see? Yes, I see. Don't you believe me? No, and I don't think Doc does either. Man. You live around here, Minnie? I don't live nowhere in particular. But I'll tell you one thing, soon as Doc here fixes up my arm, I'm leaving this town. I'm leaving at dawn. Hey, you're welcome to stay as long as you like. I'm still leaving at dawn. You're going to tell me how you got shot? It was an accident. Cleaning a rifle. An accident, huh? An accident. Okay. Well, I'll uh, see you later, Doc. Yeah, sure, Doc. Their marshals are all alike, real nosy. <laughs> Matt's not so bad. It's just that he likes to know why when people take a bullet, whether it's serious or not. Real nosy. <laughs> now then, Minnie, I'm going to be as gentle as I can. Oh, I can take it. Go ahead, Doc. Start cutting. <laughs> Well, I sure didn't never think a man could starve to death waiting for his coffee in a restaurant before. Sometimes it beats drinking it, Chester. <laughs> My golly, I never thought of that. Yeah, you'd marry Chester. He wouldn't have these problems. Yeah, oh, sure, sure. Hello there, Doc. Marshal? Ah, hello, Minnie. I thought you were leaving town this morning. Well, a girl can always change her mind, can't she? <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, this is Chester Proudfoot, Minnie. How do, ma'am? Well, you're kind of country even for Dodge, ain't you? Well, Say, it's well, awful crowded in here, ain't it? Oh, well, would you like to sit down here? Well, ain't that sweet of you? <laughs> what do you think of my new clothes, Doc? And my new hat? Well, uh, well, my hat's mighty impressive. Oh, I thought it was pretty. 
Oh, it is. Yes, it is indeed, Mary. It's... Here's your coffee, gentlemen. Say, you. Ma'am? You got any steak out there in the kitchen? Sure. Well, bring me one. About two inches thick and slap four fried eggs on top of it. Yes, ma'am. Well, one thing you sure do know how to eat. Well, a girl's got to keep up her strength, don't she? A good meal once in a while don't hurt a body none, does it, Doc? Uh, no, no, not at all. No. You ain't asked me about my arm, Doc. Oh, no. Well, see, how is it? Oh, it hurt during the night. A lot. I thought maybe I ought to stay over so you could take another look at it today or tomorrow. Oh, well, it'll, it'll have to be right now after dinner. I'm, I'm driving out into the country this afternoon. And... You are, huh? Oh, come on, Chester. We got work to do. Oh, but I ain't finished your coffee. You can get some later. So long, Doc. Oh, well, now, see here. See you later, Manny. Well, sure, Marshal. So long, Chester. Well, wait a minute. I'm going with you. Doc, you ain't going to leave a lady to eat alone, are you? Well, well of I... Of course you ain't. Now, sit down. Oh, oh no. Minnie. What's gotten into you, anyway? I was thinking you might like a little company this afternoon when you drive out into the country. Uh, oh, no, 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 you don't. No, absolutely not. Oh, darling. No, no, I mean it, Minnie. Will you be back? Well, uh, not till tonight. Late. Uh, I'm very late. Okay, Doc. I'll see you then. I'll be waiting for you. Oh, dear. up at this hour. Why aren't you home in bed? Well, I was down to the stable waiting for you till Moss run me out. Why, it's going on 10 o'clock. You usually out this late? Yes, well, but I don't work on a schedule, you know. You had a long drive, didn't you? Long enough. You're tired. What you need is a drink. Take the chill out of your bones. I'll buy you one. Uh, now, look. Oh, I... Doc, don't you want a drink? Well, as a matter of fact, I do. I'm going to get one right now, but alone. Alone? You won't take me? No, I won't. Ladies don't go into saloons. Now, you know that. Now, you run along. And you come see me about that iron tomorrow, huh? All right, well, good night. Dog. Good night, Minnie. <laughs> Sam, uh, sit out a glass and a, and a bottle of rye. Yeah, sure, Doc. Usually, you take time to say hello before you order whiskey. Oh, yeah, he looks pretty nervous. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's all very well for you to joke. You don't have the problems that I do. There's one thing I can't stand. It's a doctor feeling sorry for himself. It had nothing to do with my medical practice. It's, it's that Rourke, that harridan who's been chasing me. I don't know what it is you got, Doc, but it must be mighty powerful. Yeah, that's just about as much sympathy as I expect from you. <laughs> I'm jealous, that's all. Ah, oh, you ought to take it easy on him, Matt. Doc's got real trouble from what I know. No, I haven't got real trouble, Doc. Gun it. No woman can force herself on me. That's the spirit, Doc. Doc! Oh, brace yourself, she's in. You lied to me, Doc. I lied to you? About what? About there being no woman in here. What do you call her? Oh, now, look here. Now, women are welcome here anytime, Minnie. It's just that most ladies don't approve. Well, you look like a lady. I'm staying. That's the spirit, Minnie. Okay, Minnie. You don't understand that. Kitty works here. She owns the place. What's the difference? Well, the, the men, they, they wouldn't understand them, Minnie. They, they might get the wrong idea about you. You think so? Well, I know about men. Barkeep, drinks for the house. Hey! Yeah. There. That'll take care of the men. Now, you come and sit at a table with what? me, Doc. No. I'll set up a holler. I'll start a fuss, and I can do it, too. She means to talk. You better go along, Doc. Oh, he's going all right. There ain't no question about it. Now, come on, Doc. Now, look here, me. <laughs> she's kind of rough, isn't she? Yeah. But she's not a bad woman at heart. I can tell. I hope you're right for Doc's sake. I'll say one thing. She's sure got a mind of her own. Where's Matt? Yeah, 
I'd ride out in Jake Worth's or to be back to dark. Oh, my gracious. I, I do declare, Doc, you act nervous as a bridegroom. Uh, <laughs> you know what that woman did this morning? If What woman? You know very well what woman. <laughs> she waited in hiding for me outside of Delmonico's. She sprang out at me like a mountain lion. She said she was going to have breakfast with me. Well, now, Doc, like she says, a girl has got to keep her strength up. And she did. She had an order of steak and eggs that had found her a draft horse with potatoes and pie on the side. She's going to be an awful big expense to you, Doc. An awful big expense. Oh, you're... I'm, I'm going back up to my office. Yeah, well, wait a minute. I'll walk with you as far as your stairs. i got to go to the store. Well, I, I just may leave town and go to San Francisco. You're wasting money, Doc. She'd find you. That lady is awful determined. There she is. Let, let's go the other way. Hey, wait a minute. Doc. No, that big galoot with her. I mean, he tore her hat right off of her head and front. Now, now that's terrible. Chester, come on. Let's go. He ain't got no right to do that. He'll be just in her next. Come on, Doc. Look at Chester. Hi, Jim Buffett from New chasing other men. Doc is right, Minnie. It ain't fitting. Once a lady's been churched and wedlocked, she's got a duty to her husband, good or bad. we got to run away together, Doc, right now, while we got the chance. We'll have a few hours start, and he won't find out till we're on our way. Uh, uh, no, Minnie, no. Now, that's as simple as I can make it. Uh, no. Uh, come on, Chester, I'm going up to my office. I, I think I'd better fix myself a powder. Marshal Chester. Mm, here? Well, I, I gotta find him right now. Well, he's out of town. Won't be back till after dark tonight. Are there something wrong? There's a buffalo hunter over at the Long Branch slopping up whiskey. And he says he's gonna kill Doc. How'd he find out about Doc? Well, he heard a couple of barflies laughing about Minnie, how she bought drinks for the house and all, and how she's in love with Doc Adams. Where's he at now? Well, I left him standing at the bar. And Sam's keeping an eye on things. I, I slipped out the back way and come over here. That don't sound too good, does it? Well, is he the husband of that, that many that Doc's been sporting around? Doc ain't been sporting nobody around. It's all her doing. Anyway, he's sure in trouble. Yeah, and thanks for telling me. What do you think you're going to do with that gun? Well, I got to do something. Well, you're going to get yourself killed. Yeah, I'll be careful, Bill, but I got to warn Doc. Well... the occasion. Now, don't try to be funny, Doc. 
Dick Higgins has found out about you and Minnie. What's a gun for? He claimed he's going to kill you, Doc. Oh, are you out of your mind? There's not going to be any shooting over this nonsense. I won't stand for it. I don't know how you can do much about it. Well, I'll go talk with him. I'll stop it fast enough. Doc, that man is crazy jealous. He's got a belly full of liquor and he's toting a gun. And besides, he's a buffalo hunter. And you know they ain't a buffalo hunter alive you could call even a little bit civilized. I'm not thinking of palling around with him. Well, you better start thinking of something. Jake Higgins ain't going to go away just because you try to ignore him. Oh, this whole business is ridiculous. It was, maybe, but it's got pretty serious now. No one's going to drag me into a mess like this. You're all right. Already in it, Doc. Maybe you can spit it, bad weather, but you can't change it. Uh, now, 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 you just stand right easy, Jake. It's you that's been courting my mini, Doc. I haven't been courting anybody. I gotta shoot you, Doc. You pull that trigger, there's gonna be an awful lot of lead flying around this office. What's your part in this? Let's just say Doc's a friend of mine. Yes, sir. Now, wait. Wait. I'm unarmed. Now, you're not gonna shoot an unarmed man, are you, Jake? Doc, I got a right to shoot you, Sutton... Standing or laying down any way at all. And you know it. No, you don't. Now, doggone you, Chester, move out of the way. I'll shoot right through you if I have to. Well, that's what you're going to have to do. I never seen a man wanted to die so bad. Jake! Uh, Jake! What are you up to now? I'm going to kill Doc, Minnie. Well, there's no need for a shooting, Jake. Well, I reckon I'll decide that. Jake, listen to me. I was wrong. I'm coming back with you. I made a mistake, that's all. Look at me, Jake. Well, I'm, I'm... I sold away all them fancy clothes, see? I ain't gonna try to be a lady no more. Oh, what about him? Doc? Yeah. Oh, he didn't do nothing, Jake. It was me. I got to feeling girlish, I guess. Girlish? What Doc and Chester told me a while ago there about being married and all. Well, they was right. It brought me to my senses. <laughs> yeah, so, but you did never have no quarrel with Doc, Jake. Is this true, Minnie? All this you're saying? Yeah, it's true, Jake. Yeah. I belong with you. Out there on the prairie, skinning buffalo for you, fetching and carrying. Oh, I never was cut out to be no lady. Oh, you're a lady enough for me. You always was. These city fellas don't know everything. Get our horses and ride. I never did really want to shoot you, Chester, but you shouldn't go around getting in the way like that. Well, come on, woman. Let's get All you. right, just as soon as I pay Doc for fixing my arm. I pay me for... Oh, forget it. Oh, Peg, you, you don't owe me any. Keep the money. Keep... Buy a bottle with it. Well, eh, that's right neighborly. <laughs> it's my pleasure. Yeah. So long. Bye, Chester. <laughs> Bye. Doc. Good luck. Well, you sure got out of that by the skin of your teeth. <laughs> or by the skin of yours. Yeah. <laughs> well, I could have been... All right. and directed in Hollywood by Norman MacDonald, stars William Conrad as Matt Dillon, U.S. Marshal. The story was specially written for Gunsmoke by John Meston and adapted for radio by Norman MacDonald. Featured in the cast were Virginia Gregg, John Daner, and Vic Perrin. Harley Bear is Chester, Howard McNear is Doc, and Georgia Ellis is Kitty.